So Blast the Populous, the demon of the core, is finally here, and this is gonna be my first playthrough of Blast the Populous. I have not played the Elite one yet. I only played the normal one when Ninja Kiwi gave us early access, and this is gonna be my first Elite, so I'm super excited to check this one out. Now, I've been watching videos, and I've been reading up about this guy, and I can tell you that the Elite is probably a different beast than the normal one, and I actually do have a plan, and I wanna use some new towers that we normally don't use in bosses. All right, so let me start things off by buying a farm. We're just defending with the uh, with the free Dark Monkey, so we're playing on a map that's easy. This is like a super easy map it's four circles so we're gonna be allowed to farm as much as we will we're gonna be spending a very small amount of money in defending these early rounds and have you guys seen the amount of abilities or just the amount of things that blast the populace does have you read that it's insane so the first time that i played this i was actually overwhelmed by it because he just does so many things like the skull and the heat meter and then how it works and then what reduces the temperature and then what each skull does and then what's his passive ability and it just but by how much does he reduce cooldowns and whatnot it's such a complicated boss but i think that and I have a, a good chunk of the info, so let me just let me just share that knowledge with you guys. And let me push this to the limit. So it's round 18, and we should be buying some defenses right about now because we're gonna have rounds like 19 and 21 actually coming out. So we're probably gonna need to drill the jungle for those. So let me let me push it just a little bit. Let me buy one more base farm and see how we do onto this one. I think we're gonna be leaking on this one. So actually, let's use Benji's level three ability, get some damage going, so we don't leak that much. I think only one pink made it into the rose spikes. That's really good. And now we should be able to save up just enough money for the Druid of the Jungle before round 21. So as soon as this one ends, yes, there we go. That's perfect. All right, so four marketplaces, one or two village. Let me buy the fifth one. I think I'm going to push this thing with the marketplaces as much as possible before we hit round 40. So let's go like this. Oh, wait a minute. Count Blooms. Let's go for a 0, zero 2 I'm not sure this guy's going to be defending all of these guys. He's actually not going to be. But it's fine because we can leak a couple of them. So we are generating a little bit of lives with Ben with these marketplaces, with the monkey knowledge. We have some mana shells, so we should be fine for now. And as we're approaching Blast of Populous, let's quickly talk about what we can expect from this boss. So first off, we don't want to be attacking with a lot of projectiles. So for example, a tower like the Tag Zone, which you would, I guess, normally use onto some bosses. Oh, wait a minute. We're leaking some Cow Can we afford this thing? Yeah, we can. We're going to drop probably below about 100 lives or something like that. That should be, yeah, 107. That's completely fine. So yeah, projectiles, no go. You should absolutely not be doing that. And uh, let me just buy the 0 to 3 Dark Marquee, by the way. Fire Towers as well, absolutely a no go versus Blast the Populace. So I think you should completely avoid the Wizard altogether just to be safe. And these DPS towers, like for example, example the sticky bomb ninja so i recently learned the sticky ninja is actually considered a dps effect so that's why it doesn't work on blast of Populous, so you should not be using these guys the sticky ninjas and it actually makes for a kind of a different boss event because blast of Populous is one of the beefier bosses he has actually kind of similar hp to blunarius believe it or not so blunarius is at 40 million and this guy's at 35 for the tier 5 and here it comes so 43 okay so blunarius is at 50,000 hp for the tier 1 i think and this guy is 43,000. so how do we want to do this well first off i know that something that actually works like 100% is this guy the elite defender but I don't want to be buying the elite defender I actually have something else in mind I want to test the Moab Eliminator all right so for the tier one hear me out with this new thing that I want to try out I want to try out the Moab Eliminator and that's probably not a good idea because Blast the Populous does not like or actually I should say he likes you using abilities because he increases the ability cooldowns but I think that we can still get away with the Elim because hear me out the Moab Eliminator has a cooldown of 10 seconds that's ridiculously low i mean 10 seconds is really nothing like you can just keep spamming this as much as possible and hold on how are we doing versus these oh my god he's missing the full ceramics is the dark gonna catch up with these guys yeah there we go we defended and number two is that even though he increases the cooldowns by a percentage amount because this guy's cooldown is 10 seconds it doesn't really matter i mean let's assume it's a 10 percent cooldown increase right so what this goes from what to 10 to 11 like it doesn't matter i don't think and look at just how fast everything is going i mean you probably want to be you know you want to be careful about these abilities so you don't want to be activating the, the ability while the skull is about to proc. But I think that this is going super well so far. Am I missing something? I think we should probably buy the jungle's bounty. Or actually, while we're at it, let's just keep the farming going by getting just this thing. Let's just get the miniopolis and let's just start farming because we do need to be ready for this. And actually, just take a look at the heat bar. So the heat bar was not exactly filling up as much. And that's because of the Moab LM only being one projectile. So this is, I think, I think we're onto something, guys, with this Moab LM thing. So let's actually not use the ability let's switch this guy to first because he is attacking the boss and we don't want the boss proccing right now so let me uh, are we surviving it's around 49 by the way so let me just see if we're surviving this one i want to buy the banana research facility which i think we should do and i think that's gonna be about it so yeah there we go so we know for a fact that the sniper works the elite defender that's probably like an amazing tower because it's still one projectile it doesn't overheat uh blast the populace but this is a little bit of new technology if you can call it so yeah the mobile definitely works with a tier one that's really good all right so let's go back to farming i have a one three 
3 0 Druid and just a 0 2 4 Darbok here. We can absolutely afford to defend like this for a while. I think just because we're playing all four circles, maybe we want to get the Jungle's Bounty. But I don't know. Like, this thing got a little bit nerfed, I think, in the previous update. So I'm not exactly sure how I feel about using this thing. But yeah, let's just get some farms going and let's just try and see what we can do for the tier 2, actually. And after the tier 2 boss, I know for a fact that the Mad works. I mean, the Mad is probably just an awesome tower because it's still, it's just one projectile at a time. So it's not going to overheat it too fast. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do something about these lead balloons. And I have the perfect idea for these lead balloons. So look at this. I'm going to buy a, uh, well, I was going to buy a Snowstorm Ice. And I think I, I chose the worst spot for it. Oh, my God. Oh, there we go. We got it. Oh, my God. That was perfect with the money. Yes. Okay. So we are going to need the Absolute Zero because the Absolute Zero ability actually helps in decreasing the overheating. And actually, we, we should probably be paying attention into trying to decrease his heat bar as much as possible. Okay. Let me try something like this. What if we just went straight for abilities? And I know that, again, abilities are probably not the way to be in this boss. Okay. So we have three first strikes. So let me use the first one. Let's use the second one. And the third one and that's gonna be a full skull about 33 percent of the way there and we did fill up the heat bar a little bit so let me use the absolute zero ability oh my god that took it off that <laughs> it took everything off that's amazing okay so so we can balance it like this actually wait a minute then then what are we doing with these subs let's go for druids druids are bad but I, we can just chill this guy in an instant so let's go like this that's a million druids attacking okay that's not good so let's use the snowstorm the snowstorm is very very little that the snowstorm just doesn't work okay so let's use the absolute zero oh Oh, no, these druids are just straight up bad. No, there's a problem with these druids. Like, they're just straight up bad. It's way too many projectiles. So, I actually do have a way of chilling the boss down, and that is gonna be Popsidon. So, uh, <laughs> let me try and get this guy then. Let's see how much Popsidon is gonna do versus this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the Absolute Zero just for a second. I used the Absolute Zero, but this guy, I think we filled it up to the max, and it kind of chilled by itself. So, that's good, but it's also bad because while well, <laughs> we're, we're filling the bar up, we're gonna have another. Oh my god, an artist called Prague. No, and the heat bar is up already. Okay, so let's, uh, what are we trying to do? Let's use the Arctic Nile ability. Let's see if it's going to do anything. I'm using the ability. It's it's not doing anything. We need Pop Poseidon, guys. Let's sell these avatars on the side, but let's rebuy it like this. So I'm only going to buy one avatar. I'm going to give it attack speed like this, and I'm also going to give it an alchemist. And now let's try and buy Pop Poseidon. So I'm going to use the absolute zero, decrease the heat bar, sell this guy, and then Pop Poseidon. Oh, this, the placement of Pop Poseidon is not going to be good. So let's just have him like this, I guess. And now once we've got the money for Pop Poseidon, so the heat bar is gonna fill up to the max let me buy pop Poseidon right now and let's see if this guy's gonna do anything to chill the boss out because the heat bar is almost maxed out so can we save it please uh just don't let it overheat please stop attacking on the druid and yeah pop Poseidon isn't doing anything <laughs> no so we don't even have the druid attacking the avatar right and this guy is not doing anything so let's use the ability the ability doesn't do anything oh my god is it possible this thing is so bad oh wait a minute pop Poseidon doesn't attack purple balloons so maybe he needs the mib for this chill Yes, he needs the MIB. Oh, he's so good. Look at this. He's decreasing it uh, by a lot. Oh, so that was what the problem was. All right, because he's... Oh, my God. This guy's a purple balloon. That's that's just so ridiculous. It works like that, though. And we finally do take it out on round 71. And this Blast of Populous guy... <laughs> I don't know, guys. This is this is looking like it's going to be an annoying boss. I'm going to be honest. Okay, so we absolutely demolished our farming by buying all these towers that we don't need. So, yeah, we have a little bit of an issue. So, let's try and get back on our feet. So, I bought the Banana Central. This thing is getting overclocked. I'm going to buy the Wall Street and then a bunch of 420 farms. I'm, I'm getting the Wall Street because it's going to collect from all these uh, farms on the side. All right, and just like that, we're at the Tier 3 with a little bit of a... Well, our economy is not looking good. Let's just say like that. We spent a lot of money in trying to just theory craft the Tier 2, but I think it's actually helped out tremendously because I know exactly what we want to do for these next ones and we actually have the experience now we know that Pop Silent, for example needs an MIB and that's not good like I feel like that's probably not worth it unless it just does wonders like for example these layer tiers so let's try and check it out so now since we've entered tier 3 territory we have to defend this thing using paragons and actually there is some theory that I have with the paragons as well so first off let's sell all these farms in the top left which I bought specifically for this reason let's get the apex plasma mass it's gonna be kind of a higher degree I think I saw 36 on this guy yeah there we go look at this once this called procs so uh last the populace surrounds himself with these rocks and oh wait a minute he can't see it okay <laughs> but the theory is that because these rocks act as vision blockers if you have the dark paragon and these bouncing balls inside then they're gonna do a lot more damage to last the populace so in a way he's helping out the dark paragon a lot right all right so second skull is out these paragons are obviously gonna get stunned because they are well the most expensive things on screen so there's not not much question about that and i think now we're gonna be able to see if these pyroclastic rocks they actually help out 
about the Dark Paragon, right? So can we see the boss? So the Paragon is stunned and now we, sh yeah, we should be able to attack it. And yes, look at this. So these balls, I think you can see it a little bit, but they're actually bouncing uh, inside a little bit more thanks to these rocks. So these rocks are actually helping the Dark Paragon. That's amazing. So wait a minute, does this make the Dark Paragon like S tier versus Blast the Bar Plus? I think it does, right? So maybe we go for a super high degree on this guy later on. This is not even going to be expensive because the Dark Paragon, in order for you to max it out, you're going to need like 400,000 and that's nothing in late game farming. Look at the heat bar as well. Like this tower is, is just not heating up the boss at all. I mean, he's going to heat up himself by proccing his skull, but this is like, it, it's fine, I think. I don't see a problem with this. Let me buy the Absolute Zero and see how much of effect uh, the Absolute Zero has onto the Tier 3. So let's use it. Oh, so you can see it doesn't exactly work as good on the Tier 3 as it did on the Tier 2. So on the Tier 2, it was taking out like, I think 20% of the heat bar and now it's like, what, like 3% or something like that? Yeah, it's, it's a really small amount. Okay, so let's actually do the Popsidon test again. Let's give it the, oh, I can't place towers exactly thanks to these rocks, but let's let's go like this and let's see how much this guy contributes. So it, I, you probably want to be getting some, I guess, some alchemist, give it some attack speed. Let's use the ability. How much does the ability do? The ability doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh my god, so this Popsidon guy is not actually that good, or is he? No, I'm starting to think at a certain point, it's not actually the towers that are at fault, but it's the fact that you've just reached such a high tier of the boss that it's just not supposed to be working, right? So you're supposed to be struggling versus this heat, and you're not supposed to be cooling down the boss as fast. So yeah, the damage is not going, this Tower Paragon is, well, absolutely insane, and Popsidon is not doing as well versus the tier 3 as he did versus the tier 2. So we we know that for a fact now. Alright, so the tier 4 Blast Apopolis is a about to be out and let's theorycraft this one now i do have some ideas for the paragons that are going to work so i think i mentioned that the ascended shadow is probably not going to work that's a ninja paragon because the sticky projectile gets burnt off instantly and also he attacks with a lot of projectiles right so a lot of shurikens so i think that the ninja is a no-go dart is good and we still have the dart from a previous one but because this guy has like 7 million hp i don't think a single dart is well going to do anything now i did want to try the buccaneer paragon for two reasons number one is that it is eventually going to buff the goliath and the goliath is probably well not <laughs> as good of a paragon but we're gonna buy it anyways and reason number two is that the uh, the navar actually has these small planes and i think that the planes do not care about the uh, pyroclastic rocks which blast a popular spawns because they don't care about the lack of vision so maybe this guy is not even gonna be as bad but let's just let's just be mindful about the amount of projectiles that we're attacking the boss with let's put a little bit of cash into this guy let's put actually all of the money that we have into this thing so it's gonna be a nine hundred thousand dollar investment let's see what degree we get it's gonna be degree 22 it's not a lot but it's gonna be fine and let's just watch the heat bar because that's the most important thing all right so we do get there it's a mess on screen guys okay let me do <laughs> just turn this thing down a little bit so that we can see what's happening on screen but yeah we do get these power classic rocks spawned and so the idea is that these planes they don't care about the power classic rocks because they're attacking from the sky right plus we have the degree 36 dark paragon so i i think that the navark is one of the better choices versus blast the populace right which is kind of an interesting thing to say because i don't exactly use the navark that much it's usually you know the dark paragon for the tier three then you probably buy the ninja then you go into the goliath and stuff like that but yeah we we're gonna have to use these you know paragons that we don't exactly use that much in general i want to say oh wait a minute we are are we popping the boss a little bit too fast because he is about to overheat can we do something about this so let me just throw in like a, a casual absolute zero which is gonna do nothing <laughs> okay that was the smallest decrease of the heat bar that i've ever seen i guess he's gonna help out a little bit and then what i mean are we are we actually gonna pop side on this again i don't know guys yeah let's let's pop side on again so let's go like this give it the mib give it an alchemist the 420 alchemist i'm even gonna give it a nova clock for pop silent guys man these abilities absolutely a terrible idea to use uh, abilities versus blast the populace because this this overclock berry came off cooldown okay so is pop silent attacking he is let's use the ability which is well you, you can't exactly see it because we have the projectiles right now but the heat bar is it going down i i don't think it's really going down guys i i'm not sure pop silent is doing way too much versus this this tier four no pop silent absolutely sucks i you know what i think the absolute zero might be even a little bit better than pop silent so let's use this thing yeah it, i mean it's it's bad as well but it's it's probably not as bad as pop silent right this is just such a waste of money i don't want to buy this guy anymore yeah let's just throw out one more absolute zero let's sell this guy and that's probably going to be it the dark paragon should be able to finish the job although it is it's kind of struggling because this guy has a lot of hp so for the next tier i actually am going to sell the apex plasma master and i'm going to try and get 
as high a degree as possible onto this guy. And finally, we have reached the tier 5 last the populace, and I'm gonna start things off by buying the Apex Plasma Master. Now, this guy is doing exceptionally well versus Blast of Populous throughout the game, so I'm just gonna put even more money into it. So, if we're gonna put the full amount, let's see what degree we get onto this one. It's gonna be a 64, so this guy is actually gonna be really good. That's nice. Now, we do have the Buccaneer, which we're obviously gonna keep, and the last one that I wanted to buy was the Goliath. Now, the thing with the Goliath is, well, it's just that it's just such a good Paragon that it's a little bit too good to pass up, I think, but the Goliath should be having a lot of issues issues with just getting its ability out so let's go like this let's save up a little bit of cash for these damage amplificators so let's go like this we saved up about 50k it's a degree 26 in the glad which is really not a lot but i think it's gonna be fine and now let's use this cash for actually this guy the super brill which is well hopefully gonna <laughs> chill the boss a little bit i don't know and let's go let's see how we're gonna do versus the tier 5 look at this 35 million hp that's insane that's so much hp <laughs> on to blast the populace all right so let's see how we're doing so our guys are attacking i think the most amount of damage is going to be given to the goliath just because it's just like such a strong paragon but the dark paragon should not be falling behind that much and then obviously the weakest one should be the navark but i might be wrong about that all right so so far not so good we are doing small amounts of damage so we're not filling out the heat bar for some reason it looks like which means that we're, we're kind of doing well i think but at the same time like the damage is just not doing so well so this is actually the time which the dark paragon is supposed to be shining because we did get the rocks around blast the populace so i'm gonna need these dark projectiles to go to town right now and we do get an ability okay so let's let's just quickly use the ability before this guy gets stunned or anything happens to him so let's just count the amount of abilities that we're gonna get out versus this blast the populace so that was one ability the cooldown of these abilities is getting reduced passively and that's another skull which means that a rock is definitely gonna get launched towards the ace platform for sure so yeah this guy's gonna get stunned which means that look at this thing the ability cooldown is not going while he's getting stunned so that's a little bit annoying and then look at this thing again such a slow cooldown guys this is uh this is not good <laughs> this is not good like maybe we can get away with these cooldowns by i don't know like buying something like the uh the energizer for some of our towers but that doesn't work on <laughs> a paragon so yeah yeah this is just exceptionally slow let's buy some other damage amplifiers let's go like this let's get the sniper on strong let's get the glue going out as well oh my god guys i don't know like this this boss is really going too fast he's he's way too beefy it seems like and he's also burning off these projectiles i don't think i mentioned it but once i think once he overheats like all these projectiles that are launched towards him they never make the boss because they get burned off if that makes sense so he's not taking damage for a while which is really annoying <laughs> okay so let's use the glue ability and look at this oh my god the, the goliath ability just not going this is gonna be like our third usage i think so far are and then and we're like 10 rounds into this thing wait a minute we're 10 rounds into this thing this guy is so slow oh my god man this this boss is <laughs> this guy is something else isn't he let me try and use the absolute zero again it's it's tickling it, it it's not doing anything <laughs> oh my god this boss is something else guys he is he's super annoying i i gotta be honest so i think we actually have this one and we're gonna defeat it it doesn't seem like it's it's an issue for the tier 5 the amount of projectiles so what how do you overload the projectiles on the tier 5 is my question like I, I think the overloading just comes from the fact that the heat bar is filling up. I don't think that you can do it with projectiles. So I guess the way that you want to think about this one is that you want to be careful about the amount of projectiles in the early tiers, and then you well, there's nothing to do about the projectiles in the late game. And you also want to try and balance out, you know, this cooling mechanic versus the projectiles into the early game only, because all of these, you know, towers are supposed to be cooling off the boss. They just don't work versus the higher tiers. Actually, they don't work starting from tier three. So uh, I I don't know. It's it's gonna be an interesting boss. I feel like we're probably gonna need like an ice pair on <laughs> it's gonna do a lot of work versus this guy because you're gonna get a couple of overheats no matter what you do per boss fight so uh yeah round 136 so this is a super late pop so i i guess what this also tells us is that you're gonna need to farm a lot so that you get some high degree in the paragons but there we go we defeated blast of populace which was i can tell you guys this was an experience <laughs> for sure <laughs> this is such a difficult boss but it's it's gonna be a super fun one and i cannot wait to try it on some other maps but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching the video and i'm gonna See you on the next one.